Hey guys, real quick, I'm gonna go over the correlation between the bench press and shooting posture. We can extrapolate really good posture from this and we can also extrapolate really bad. And so we wanna show that there's a spectrum of specificity. So what we, you know, we, we really wanna learn in a way how to bench press like a power lifter, right? Cause there's, we wanna glean from some of those aspects, but we don't wanna bench press like a power lifter in terms of accumulating the volume that way it creates a real posture that really creates a problem for firearms, okay? We see that all the time. The biggest issue we see with people push-ups and bench press and their correlation to improve uh, push-ups is because the posture that's created here is transferred through a tension mechanism, our tension position when we do push-ups. So we'll just really briefly, because if, if you didn't know, there is a difference between bench pressing for powerlifting and competitive side to others, okay? so. We're gonna say powerlifting is, is you see, right, really hard into the heels, right? Knees out real hard. I've got an extreme arch, which you need for powerlifting in that sport. Like it's, you need it, it's crucial. We're not saying it's bad for the sport. The, trans, the specificity of transferring isn't great into the tactical. So then I take this rib position because I've really driven this in. My butt stays down. Okay, and when I pitch my rib cage, right, what ends up happening, I'm kind of slow down here a little bit. When I get that powerlifting mentality and I arch, look at the angle. I want you to see the angle of my rib cage. And when I go into the arch, what happens here? Okay, so when I go into that good powerlifting arch, watch my, watch my arms relative to my rib cage. See what happens? I shorten that angle a ton. I shorten it, shorten it, really stay arched because I want this range, this di distance I have to travel to be less. I don't want my rib cage down in powerlifting. Now, okay, so that's cool. We got that in powerlifting, we, right? So I take that real big arch, and this is a stress mechanism that the body is learning and adapting based on your positional stress. And it can be very great, profound, robust, accumulating all these things that reinforce position when stress shows up with this or the PST or an obstacle course. Your body through called the Golgi tendons, it reacts to what is done historically, like a hot stove, bam! The Golgi tendons protect you, bam, that hot stove. So when you bench press properly, that transfers into bench pressing for a more athletic way into the push-ups, we get that posture. So for posture, what we're looking for that's a little bit more transferable, we're gonna take the powerlifting sense of, I need to keep this real good rigidity for the sport, right? But now I'm gonna make the position a little bit more athletic. So I'm not, you know, sometimes the bench, like if you're short people, the heels are down, like your feet are off the ground. Ideally, we do wanna get the feet down. For me, I'm gonna close my feet in because I wanna stay in line like I'm doing more push-ups. Okay, so some might want to elevate. I have a box here for shorter people. Maybe that box goes here. That box isn't there, so you can come up on it and get, come off. What we're trying to do is find a neutral position for these hips, right? I have, I have decent length and legs, so when I drop these feet down, I'm basically able to maintain a bit of a plank. And that's all a push-up is. It's a plank. <laughs> so what I want to do, this arch that exists, what I want to do is I, I'm arched. I can't not be arched when I'm going to get the bar. When I'm going to go get the bar and I bring that over the drop zone, I'm going to start doing is reposition my hands in a push-up position, more neutral out in front of me. And instead of arching, I'm going to opposite arch and hold my hips and glutes in this neutral position. Now I have a little bit more athletic Right? But what I really have to do is stabilize this. My feet are, my legs are starting to shake. That's the idea. When I'm doing push ups, I'm not able to start moving my feet. What I want to do is get my feet in line with me so I can flex my hamstrings and glutes, and then I can go to play with that positional specificity. So we've learned a lot from powerlifting, it's super great. But we have to kind of change some of those positions so the transfer goes into the gun. If not, we see this all the time. Guys come up from their push-up position on their first test, and they get the pump like the power lifter. You're like, 
They, they can't, they're all blocking and can't move. That's the idea, guys, okay? So powerlifting is awesome. I've learned a lot from it, and I still extrapolate from it, but it has its limit of understanding. And then we got to go, okay, how do we keep, keep progressing this? And this is it. Position, right, is going to transfer into posture because this is stress. Oh, my God. Wham, you don't think that's stressful? Shooting somebody, okay? So what do I want my posture to be when stress shows up? Good posture. 